So the Xeon Vega X is not the best rubber we've ever reviewed, but... All right, so the Vega X. Basically, this rubber is a newer edition of the Vega Pro, one of Xeon's very popular rubbers. And the X representing 10, meaning 10 year anniversary since the Vega Pro was released. So the Vega X is just a newer version of the Vega Pro, which is meant to be designed for the plastic ball. It has a newly developed top sheet. However, it's keeping the same sponge. Now here's the interesting part with this rubber is that it comes in at 38 euros. And of course, right now we're seeing a lot of expensive tails with rubbers. So this one's gonna be interesting as well as Xeon claiming that this is a top line rubber. So looking forward to seeing if that's the case. So a few things before we dive into the review, the Vega X weighs 72 grams, also has a sponge hardness of 47.5 degrees. Throughout the review, I'll be using it with my T-Mobile ALC and I'll be joining Tom in the T2D studio. Let's go. So with the lower price point, I wasn't expecting too much with the Vega X. However, after just a few shots, I really was like, wow, I'm getting decent spin and speed here. It surprised me. I really thought when I was going to top spin, I was going to feel more of a duller feeling. But however, with the Vega X, no, it really did surprise me here. It came off quickly with a good amount of spin. Now, I just want to put this out there quickly because I know a lot of people have this on their mind. But this rubber is no MXP or Omega 7 Pro. I still feel with these two rubbers, you get more spin and speed. However, you do get more control with the Vega X. Find and done. With the Vega X, you're getting around 85% of the speed and about 90% of the spin compared to these two rubbers. <laughs> There's a couple of times where I thought my ball was going to go long. Mm. And it still goes in, dipped in, you know. It's not too spin sensitive, this rubber. No, you can control it well. Yeah, guys, to me, this really was my favorite part to the Vega X, is its control for a relatively fast rubber. I didn't make many unforced errors in the rally, and I felt comfortable and stable. I didn't need to make many adjustments, and this is key with the Vega X, it has a lot of control here. <laughs> oh, that would have been a worldie. If you'd have got that on, I would have gone home. That being said, with the Vega X, it is harder to force your opponent to make errors as the shot quality just isn't as high. So you do have a lot of rallies and it's hard to just penetrate the ball past your opponent. So when you're playing against backspin or doing backhand flicks or just trying to generate spin, with the Vega X I did find it easy. With the sponge hardness of 47.5 degrees, it doesn't feel too hard or too soft. So you really do feel like you have a lot of time on the ball. So yeah, generating spin really was easy with this rubber. It's good, I feel like I can grip the ball well. It's controlled, I feel like I can play a big shot, a bigger swing and not lose control. I think middle distance to far away, it's comfortable. Yeah. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting penetrating and killing power, but I can be big and confident with my swings and not worry too much, it grips the ball enough. Oh, that's a great shot. So what has Xeon done with the Vega X? Well, for me, this is a fantastic rubber. It comes in at a great price point and it really suits intermediate players. I just think that the balance between the speed, spin and control is really good. And again, for its price point, it, it really did surprise me, this rubber indeed. And, you know, I did mention in the review for advanced players, I think this can suit advanced players, but I still think, you know, the higher up top players were still gonna prefer the fast rubbers like the Tenny G05, MXP and the Mega 7 Pros of this world. But this does come in at a superb price point and for, you know, an intermediate type of level, players who maybe find the top end rubbers to be a bit too spin sensitive, this rubber comes in really well there. That's what I like about this. There was times where I thought my ball was gonna go long and it stayed onto the table simply because it's just not that spin reactive. It doesn't shoot off the bat so easily, so you can really feel the ball. 
And I think Zim have done a good job here. Where this rubber does fall down for someone like myself is just trying to finish the point outright with outright spin really and speed. It just, it, it always maintained a, a really good medium, which was good. It kept me very consistent, but Tom could just soak up the pressure all day long. So when I'm using, let's say, a Telling 5 he's under a lot more pressure there. But again, for me, it's not designed for that. It's designed for someone who wants to be an all-out attacker, but just have a lot of control and be very steady with their game. This is, this is good gear. So there we go, guys. 38 euros for the Vega X. Let me know in the comments what you think of this rubber. And yeah, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to get back to you in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned for many more videos here on Tabletons Daily. Thanks for watching. Oh,